Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Guru. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Worthy, 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 worthy. Yahuwah, you are worthy. Yahusha, you are worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy. I magnify your name. I praise your name. Hallelujah. We're listening to none other than the pastor John J. Tatum. I got some truth album. And the song is entitled Royalty. I do not own the rights to this music. But we are royalty. Hallelujah. Chosen people. Holy nation. Royalty. The chosen people of Yahuwah. Chosen. Yahuwah in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach I give you praise. But we are a people that are called by your name. We are a people who have been chosen by you and I give you praise. Yahuwah, there is none like you in all the earth, worthy of the glory and the honor. Yahuwah, I praise you and I magnify your name because you're worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you are a deliverer. Hallelujah. You are our restorer. Hallelujah. Through the Torah made flesh, Yahushua Hamashiach, you have redeemed your people. Hallelujah. You have made us sons and daughters. Hallelujah. You have placed your Ruach HaKadosh and those who have asked, you have given freely. Hallelujah. You have sealed us to the day of our redemption. You have given us the earnest of your Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah. I give you praise. I give you praise. Yahuwah, I pray that the words that I speak will be spirit and life. I pray right now that you will take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Have dominion, exercise dominion, Yahuwah. In the name of Yahusha, Hamashiach, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yahuwah, I praise you. Yahuwah magnify you. Yahuwah glorify you. Yahuwah exalt you. Yahuwah I praise you. Yahuwah I pray in the name of Yahushua that I wouldn't injure a one. That I wouldn't call any to stumble. That I would not cause anyone to draw back or to turn from Yahushua Hamashiach or his Besorah. I submit to the Ruach HaKadosh. Ruach HaKadosh spirit of Yahuwah and Yahushua in me. I yield my members, my body, my tongue, my arm, my lips, my ears, my eyes. I submit to you. Use me in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahuwah, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer, for you are my redeemer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahuwah expects us to show forth the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're supposed to lift up Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Lift up Yahusha. Hallelujah. Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Yahuwah. Hallelujah. 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 We're royalty. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness. 
Women of Yahuwah beautifully and wonderfully made. He called the royalty, he called to, to lift up Yahuwah's name, to live up Yahushua's name. He brought us out of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Above everything. Hallelujah. John J. Tatum again. I got some truth album. The song is entitled Royalty. We are royal people. Royal priesthood. A chosen nation. I don't own the rights to this music. Chosen nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, we're royal people. We're a chosen nation. We are a people called to serve our Olua, Yahuwah, and his son, Yahusha Hamashiach. We are in this to magnify his name, to exalt his name, to lift him up. This is why we do what we do. This is why we are the called of Yahuwah according to his purpose. This is why we are the called of Yahuwah according to his purpose. Hallelujah. 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 We going in. We left off at Yehukanan, the 12th chapter, and uh, we finished at the 11th verse, right? We addressed the, we addressed Mary, right? And her dedication of Yehusha's burial with, some expensive ointment, right? That she put on Yahusha's feet and how she wiped off his feet with her hair. She loved Yahusha. Right. And of course you remember you Judas Iscariot who, you know, recognized that the ointment was expensive. <laughs> And he had to vocalize his concern. <laughs> he literally, Judas, said that this ointment could have been sold for 300 pences and given to the poor. <laughs> Judas was an embezzler. He was... <laughs> He was more interested in the money that was going in, right? Because he was always taking something out. Now, it doesn't say that, but we understand that he craved money. Everything he did had a price. Even Hamashiach, yeah, had a price, right? Turned him in for a price because he was all about the Benjamins. <laughs> He said that this could have been sold. And Yahushua said, the poor you have with you always. Judas, I know your motivation. But you won't have plenty of opportunity for the poor. But me, you don't want to have it with me always. But he understood that Judas didn't care nothing about the poor. Judas just cared about, you know, putting five in and taking two out. <laughs> putting three in and taking one out. Because <laughs> it was about him making some money, right? Yahushua said, let her alone. Against the day of my burial, she has kept this. She's kept it. Against the day of my burial. She was in preparation. She recognized my hour is coming. 
my sheep hear my voice. She knows that I'm the resurrection and the life. Uh, she knows I am Hamashiach, the son of Alua. She knows that I'm going to die. Because she recognizes that the scriptures, and that's why, you know, Mary and Martha and John, uh, Mary, Martha, and um, Lazarus, Eliezer, right? They had to be Torah keepers. They had to be Torah keepers because she recognized Yahushua in the Torah. Now, of course, Yahushua spent time with Mary and Martha and, and, uh, and Eliezer, Lazarus. She spent time with, he spent time with them. He ate dinner with them. He fellowshiped with them. Whenever he was in that Bethany, he was, he was with them, right? Right? But they perceived and knew from the Torah, which he probably, quite possibly, continued to teach them, right? Because Yahushua always took opportunity to teach the Bazaar and the Torah. Yahushua was never kicking back watching TV. <laughs> Yahushua, listen. I ain't saying there's something wrong with watching TV, y'all. What I'm saying is Yahushua didn't have time to waste. He had a ministry that consisted of three years, and he had to get the message of Yahusha, the message of Yahuwah, his father, out to the people, to the nation, to his people. Right? And he had time. So every opportunity Yahusha had, he was teaching the Bazaar. And no doubt, Mary and Martha and, 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 and Eliezer, Lazarus, no doubt they recognized who he was. Mary said that he was a Mashiach. Listen, and you know he was a Mashiach. She knew he had to die. But yet she had this ointment to Yahushua said she was saving for his burial. This ointment that she anointed his feet with. She was saving it for his burial. She had a revelation of Yahushua's dying. And she believed that he was the resurrection because you should demonstrate his power for life and death. Uh, you said, let her alone. He said, for the poor you have with you, but me you have not always, right? Now, and much people of the Jews therefore knew that he was there. He was in Bethany again, right, with Lazarus. And he was at that, that eating, eating dinner there, and, and Mary had anointed his oil. They knew he was there. They knew Yahushua was there. Because that's where Yahushua was going to be. <laughs> uh, Yahushua was going to be in Mary and Martha and Lazarus. They knew he was going to be there. And they came not for Yahushua's sake only but that they might see eyewitness, right, to Lazarus being made alive, right? Oh, they heard about Lazarus being raised from the dead after four days, being in the grave. They heard that Yahushua lifted up his head to the, lifted up his eyes to the heavens and spoke to the Father, right? And he, he, they, they, they heard that when Yahushua did this, he then commanded uh, Lazarus to come forth. And Lazarus did after they rolled away the stone. They heard this. They had to come see. Right? Now, they didn't see Yahushua. No doubt they seen Yahushua do miracles. But look, this miracle was. This was the absence of physical pneuma, breath. It was the absence of life. But now we have Eliezer, Lazarus, right? Alive again, right? They had to see this. We got to see this man, Lazarus, who was raised from the dead. We know Yahushua healed the blind man on the Shabbat. We know that he healed the man that was lame. We heard that he fed 5,000. We, we heard that. Right? We heard these things. We've heard of the miracles that he's done, but this raises somebody from the dead, the resurrection and the life. We got to see this. We got to see this. 
We got to see this. It's going to take us eyewitnesses to this man. Because we knew Lazarus and we heard that he was dead, right? Yeah, but they ain't, he's alive yet. We got to see this, right? He said, they didn't come only to see Yahushua. Uh, they wanted to see the miracle, not the miracle worker. <laughs> but Yahushua said, believe on me for what I say or believe on me for what I do. It's okay, just as long as you believe on me, right? He says, but that they might see Lazarus also whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus to death. <laughs> uh, your Pharisees and the, and the priests oper operating like the mafia. <laughs> they just going to bump people off. They going to rub them out. <laughs> they gonna get rid of the evidence they gonna get rid of the testimony <laughs> yeah he did it but we gonna make sure that he's rubbed out that he's killed that he's put out right can't do nothing to nobody unless you who says it so <laughs> but they wanted to plan it right uh, because that by reason of him, many of the Jews, now the Jews, we're talking about the leaders. We're talking about the leaders. Now you got your leaders. You got your leaders, like, starting to believe that this Yahushua is Mashiach. Leaders, you know, no doubt Nicodemus, you know, Nicodemus. Nicodemus was probably one of them that believed. You know. He the one that came to Yahushua at night <laughs> under the cloak of darkness. <laughs> oh, wanted to have a personal dialogue with Yahushua. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt, probably, he was amongst those who were believing on Yahushua. You no, know, he had, he had, Dialogue with Yusha. Just him and Yusha. Nobody knew. But him and Yusha. But because many of the Jews went away and believed on Yusha, this was a problem. It's a problem. You know now, you know Caiaphas. Caiaphas. You know, he went on to explain to them that, you know, he had prophesied this, you know, during the time that he was the priest for that year. <laughs> that gets me, man, you know. Uh, you know, you appoint Yahoo's people. And you know, right? Pharisees, right? They weren't, like, priests. I mean, Paul was a Pharisee. He wasn't of the tribe of Levi. He was Benjamin. These people sat in positions that they were appointed to. Paul got letters to persecute all those in the way before he was he was he was knocked off his horse by Yahushua. <laughs> Bam, Paul, why are you persecuting? It didn't happen like. Why well, you persecute me? But Paul got letters from the religious leaders to go to persecute all who were in the way. <laughs> Yahusha is the way. But they were, Paul was given letters to secure all those that were in the way. <laughs> right? Even though Psalm said, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk not, who walk in the Torah of Yahuwah. <laughs> they want to kill everybody in the way. Emma, right? Paul. 
Paul wasn't a, a, a religious priest. I mean, he, did, he, didn't, he wasn't a priest. He wasn't a Levi. You know, he didn't have no, no, no rights to, to uh, operate in the, in, the, in the priestly office, right? Paul was a man of influence. He was educated. He probably he had his, his doctorate degree. <laughs> he had a seminary degree. <laughs> he had no Ruach. <laughs> he knew Torah. Right? But he's ready to murder people. <laughs> oh, y'all hear me. Hear me. Listen. These Jews wanted to kill Yahushua. They, they, they didn't keep Torah. Paul didn't keep Torah. No, he was ready to murder people. How you? He knew Torah, but the revelation of Torah wasn't made known unto him till he came and he met Yahushua on the road to Damascus. All right, let's go. Now, verse 12 says, on the next day, now this is the following day, right? Much people that were coming to the feast when they heard that Yahushua was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, right? Now, let's look at that word, Hosanna. That word, Hosanna, is... Strong's G, 5614, Hosanna. 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 Hosanna, Hosanna right? Now, the original Hebrew is H3467, right? Which means... Save, to save, to be saved, to be delivered, to liberate, to save, to deliver. Now listen, right? Understand. These people, our ancestors, knew what time it was. They knew and understood that the Torah promised the deliverer. You know, you have to ask yourself, how did they know it was Yahushua? I mean, how did they know this? I mean, they had to have had this in their custom and heritage. It had to be something that was... Uh, identifiable in their history. They must have had expectation, right, of this Mashiach, this son of Elua, the seed of Dawid, right? They had to have, because he's, he's coming into the feast and they're going to meet him with palm trees. And I think, what is it, in, in, in Matthew, I think they put their, th their coats before him. Let's, 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 let's read it in Matthew real quick. And when, and when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and went and were come to Bethanage on the Mount of Olives, he said, Yehusha, his two disciples, then said Yehusha's two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway you shall find an ass tied and a coat with her. So you got an ass and a coat, right? He said, Loose them, or loose them both, and bring them unto me, right? And if any man say unto you, ye shall say, The master Adonai have need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughters of Zion, behold, the king it comes unto thee, may, king, uh -huh. let me read it again. 
Tell ye the daughters of Zion, behold, thy king cometh unto thee meek and sitting upon an ass and a colt and, and an ass. What does it mean? Behold, thy king cometh unto thee meek and sitting upon an ass and a colt, the foal of an ass, right? And the disciples went and did as you commanded them. So, Yehukanan doesn't record all of this, right? Yehukanan records what's necessary to might establish Imunah, right? Now, he says here, because that's what it says in the last chapter of the 20th chapter of John, it says many things that Yehukanan has done, that are, and, uh, any, many things that Yehusha had done that weren't recorded, um, um, by Yehukanan, but that which was recorded was recorded for your Imunah. That's why I say that. So, then the disciples went and did as Yehusha commanded them, and they brought them, right? And this is verse 8, 8, verse 8, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. They cut down branches from the trees, palm trees, and straightened them in the way. And the multitude that went before and followed, cried, saying, Hosanna, Deliverer, 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 the son of Dawid, Deliverer, the son of Dawid, blessed is he that cometh in the name of Elua. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Adonai. Ha, blessed, deliverance, right? That's what that word means, right? Well, let's go back to it again. Let's look at that word again. Let's look at that word again. That word here, Hosanna, right? It means to be, to save, to be saved, to deliverer. He who comes to save and deliverer, the son of Dawid, right? This is what they're saying, right? They're coming with the expectation that Yahushua is coming and they're honoring him because he has come to save them, to deliver them. <laughs> uh, to save from moral trouble. It also means to save from moral trouble. To be saved, to be victorious, to be liberated. You deliberate us from the hands of the Romans and from this wicked Herod. You be the king. <laughs> these Edomites, these Edomite kings, Herods, the Edomite. <laughs> Woo, listen, right? So, that's what they were saying in the highest, right? He says, and when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? And the multitude said, this is Yahushua, the prophet of Nazareth. <laughs> He's the prophet of Nazareth and of Galilee, right? Now, let's go back. Let's go back to Yehukadah. Yehukadah says, right? They took branches in verse 13 of palm trees and went forth to meet him. And cried, Hosanna, blessed be the king of Yisrael. And excuse me. So in, in Yehukanan, he makes no mention of the of Dawid. Or him being the seed of Dawid. But we know that he is the king over Yisrael. Now, you know, this should have made Herod like, right? Because Herod was the, was the king. You no, know, he was the puppet king, right? Because, you know, you had Parrot, then you had Pilate, and then you had to answer to Caesar, right? Right? So here, Yehush is coming into Jerusalem. Right? Triumphant, riding a donkey with a coat tied to him. So he's got a donkey and a coat, right? It says, is the king of Yasharal that cometh in the name of Adonai. He comes in the name of Adonai. 
comes in the name of Adonai, right? He says, Yahushua, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon as it is written, right? Now we don't have here a, a Matthew's account of how he instructed the disciples to go get the horse and all the donkey and the colt, right? But we got what was necessary, right? What was necessary was that that event was a fulfillment of scripture, right? And Yahushua, when he had found a young, when, and Yahushua, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon as it is written, fear not daughters of Zion, behold, your king cometh sitting on an ass coat, right? So what we have is the recognition of the fulfillment of scripture, right? That Yahushua wrote into Jerusalem triumphantly as a king, right? A parade session, if you will, right? Where they throw their garments before him and these palm leaves in front of him to cover up the dirt because he's royalty and he's moving on these things that elevates him from the dirt kind of thing. I, I mean, that's what I, that's what I get. But he did enter with the shout and the praise of the people, right? He's entering into Jerusalem in praise, headed to the temple, right? As it is written, and then it says, verse, verse 16, these things understood not his disciples. They didn't know what was happening. They didn't understand. They didn't understand. They didn't say, what, 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 why are these people, why are these people throwing their coats down in there? And they, they, they singing these songs. I don't understand it. I mean, I, I know Mashiach, you know, he's the son of Alua. Why, why, why are they doing this? They didn't realize that Yahushua was in his hours, <laughs> his final hours, right? That this was all a part of the fulfillment of what he was set to do to be the sacrifice for the people. These things understood not his disciples at the first, meaning at the time that this occurred, they didn't understand it. They didn't understand it until after the resurrection. They didn't understand it after the resurrection, right? But when Yahushua was glorified, then remember they, the things, things were written of him and that they had done these things unto him. Now listen, right? Yahushua said, and you shall receive the Ruach HaKadosh, right? And it's going to bring all things that I have spoken or did to you, to your remembrance, right? Right? After Yahushua was glorified, right? Now, his glorification process was the death, burial, and resurrection, right? Right? That was the death, the burial the resurrection, right? And the transition permanently into the Shamayim, right? Which is the glory, the, the transformation, if you will, right? Now, the disciples did not remember this until then. But the Yahushua said, listen, the Ruach, once you receive it, he'll bring all things to you remember. That's why you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. Because with the Ruach HaKadosh, you ain't going to remember nothing. Not, not nothing that's important and spiritual because Hasatan is going to run interference. Listen, why do you think you need the Ruach HaKadosh? Because the agents and the emissaries of Hasatan are constantly working against your process of thought. Right? He's constantly interjecting seeds of confusion and distraction. Right? He has a way of interrupting you in your prayers. Right? He has a way of getting in while you're 
praying and reading the scriptures and bringing stuff into your thoughts from stupid places, right? Now, if you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh and you don't recognize what's happening at that moment, you won't know how to take authority over that and discern what's actually happening, right? That's why you need the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why it's important. Listen, with the Ruach HaKadosh, your mind is open game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Your mind is it's open game for Hasitan. Oh all he gotta do is tell you to do something, you're gonna do it. See with the Ruach HaKadesh, the spirit of Yahushua and Yahuwah in you, right? When he throws something that's opposite of the Ruach in you, ooh, it's, it's gonna bring it it's gonna let you know right away. Right? And if you go past it, you're going to you gonna grieve it. Do you hear me? When you have the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of truth, right? When you have received the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh, it will bring all things to your remembrance that the Torah or the Basura has brought to you by your reading, your meditating, right? And it will keep you in a place of rightness, right? And when you have a thought, that comes into your head, the Ruach HaKadosh will let you know that is not of me. But if you entertain that thought, you won't grieve the Ruach. And the Ruach is going to say, listen, you better stop because you about to, about to mess up. Right? You about to mess up. Right? Now, you have to recognize and identify that and put it in its place. Right? You know what, Hasatan, I rebuke that thought. I cast that imagination down because I know that's from you and that's not of Yahushua. So I plead the blood of Yahushua and I cast that thought down, right? Casting down imaginations and every high thought that would exalt itself against the knowledge, against the Ruach HaKadosh that would exalt itself against anything that has to do with you, Right? In service, in discipline, in anything that you do for Hamashiach. All right. Okay. 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 So he brought this to their remembrance. Right? Right? Because he says, it says, and then remember they that these things were written of him because he told them. Right? And that they had done these things unto him. They remember. Right? Now listen. The people therefore that was with him when he called Lazarus, Eleazar, out of the grave and raised him up from the dead bore record. So you got people that are testifying to the fact that Yahushua raised Lazarus from the dead. You know what I'm saying? People that, you know, some of them same people that went to the Pharisees and said, oh yeah, listen, Yahushua raised Lazarus from the dead. What? Yeah, you should have seen how he did it. Yeah, yeah. Mary and Martha, Martha confessed that he was a Mashiach. She what? She confessed that he was a Mashiach, the son of a Lua. And Yahushua said that, you know, um, okay, you know, she she got to the point where she, you know, he used to throw the roast on her. She was like, no, don't do it because he stinks. You said, do you believe that I'm able to do this, Mary? He lifted up his hands, his eyes to, to heaven. He began to talk to Alua. And then he said it was for our benefit that we hear this. And then he told Lazarus to come for him. Yes, he raised Lazarus from the dead. 
He been in that tomb for three days. I know because we were back and forth with Mary and Martha crying, weeping. And you should wept too, man. You should wept. You should love Lazarus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She loved him. They loved him. He loved him. Yeah, we need to kill Lazarus too. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> they needed to kill Lazarus too. Man, you put a hit out on Lazarus like they put a hit out on Yahusha. Right? Right? So, they bore a record of him. He says, for this cause, the people also met him for that they heard that he had done this miracle. The people came to, they came out to meet Yahushua because they was, believed, they heard that he had done this miracle. For this cause, the people also met him for that they heard that he had done this miracle. People came out to Yahushua, like, who is Yahushua? He raised this man from the dead. Man was dead for four, four days in the grave in the tomb. You know his body had to stink, right? But it, it didn't. The people said it didn't. Oh, yeah, we, we, need, we, we, need to, we need to see this Yahushua. You know, there's, there's something to this man. There's something to him. We, we need to see him, right? Right now, the Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Oh, my goodness. Perceive ye how ye prevailed nothing? What you said has not made any difference. These people are still believing on you, Usha. That's what he said. The Pharisees therefore said amongst themselves, Perceive ye how ye perceive pre prevailed nothing? Behold, the world has gone after them. They done got to the point where they believe the world's gone after them. <laughs> Uh, he was only that was only you. It was only the people in Judea, those who had come for the feast, right? And all of them had a had a had a had a history of of uh, of of being of the of the nation, right? But the nation was turning to Yahusha. He had to be killed. Caiaphas said, "Yeah, yeah, you know, one has to die for the nation." He, he, he has to die for the nation, right? Right? Verse, verse 12 and 20. Now, we got the Greeks. You know, Hebrews, uh, Hebrews look for a sign and the Greeks seek out wisdom, right? Yeah. You know, Hebrews, man, you got to show me a sign, man. I, I need to, I need to see that he's the son of a Lord. The Greeks need to hear you talk. <laughs> they need to hear a word from you. <laughs> the Hebrews, we need to see something. You ain't gonna believe it unless we see it. <laughs> you used to say, believe on me for what I say or what I do. Just believe on me. <laughs> you he said, now there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast, right? And you know our people, right? Northern Kingdom, our people, right? Under Antiochus, right? Epiphanes, right? Who, who our people went in under captivity to because the Greeks wiped out the Persians, right? Wiped them out, right? And the Greeks, right, um, wanted to make everybody Greek. <laughs> so, you know, you had these wicked Jews, Hebrews, right, that wanted to, uh, uh, that went in with um, the Greeks and, um, put pressure on our people, right, to become Greeks, right, to participate in all of those, those exercises and those sports, those arena sports, <laughs> those omega sci-fis, <laughs> and the kappas and the betas. <laughs> And got our people 
worshiping and serving these Greek gods. Well, anyway, at any rate, that's a bunch of our people who became Greeks. Came Greeks, took on the identity and the culture of the Greeks. Denied Yahusha. Denied the Hebrew culture and their heritage. And they became Greek. Much like the people in America have become Afro-Americans. <laughs> we Americans. <laughs> Uh, we fight for this country. We lay our lives down for this nation, right? We we become Greeks, <laughs> Americans, or British, right? Or Australian, or Jamaican, right? Or Haitian, right? Come, we become whatever nation it is. We take on their identity, characteristics, you know. I mean, the, the Haitians were the French. French owned that territory until the Haitians <laughs> put it on. <laughs> my my Hebrew brothers in Haiti <laughs> said, "No, we, we ain't serving you." Right? Jamaica, right? Mexico, Mexican Hebrews over there. They <laughs> what in the Mexico, man? We got some. We got some beautiful. We got some beautiful uh, uh, Afro-Mexicans. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got some beautiful Hebrews over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we become what the name. We become that. We become that culture. Right? And you had these people who, were, who understood what it means to be Hebrew, but because they were born in under the Greeks, they became Greeks. Right? Yeah, just like Americans. Right? So they came to the feast of worship. The same came, therefore, to Philip, which was at Bethesda, Bethesda of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Yahushua. Right? Because, you know, the Greeks, they... They they want to hash it out. They want to explore and expound wisdom. They want to seek the knowledge, right? Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, right? Philip tells Andrew, and Andrew and Philip tell you who, right? Now, this is where it gets interesting, interesting right? Right? And Yahushua answered them, saying, the hour is come. That the Son of Man should be glorified. The hour has come. You have all men seeking me. The Greeks are seeking me. It's time. Right? The hours come. The hours come. Right? That's what he says. The hours come. The Son of Man should be glorified. It's time. It's time for me to be betrayed. It's time for me to be taken. It's time for me to be beat. It's time for me to 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 endure the carrying of the cross or the, the tree. It's time for me to do this. It's time for me to die. It's time for me to descend on the shield. It's time for me to rise and be resurrected and glorified. It's, it's time. It's time. Yahushua didn't, didn't, Yahukanan never says that Yahushua engaged the Greeks. Philip and Andrew asked them, 
Look, said so these people are looking for him. All Yahushua says is, my hours come. He says, verily I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die and abides alone, but if it dies, it bringeth forth much fruit. Now that might have been something that he was saying to the Greeks because Greeks would have entertained that whole idea of the wisdom attached to this idea of the whole whole grain of wheat falling to the ground and, and dying and 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 left in the dirt. It'll it'll can it'll it'll eventually uh spring roots and shoot up a, a, a stalk that's gonna produce way more fruit. Right? Right? Now the Greeks may have understood that because you know the Greeks understand wisdom. They they the idea is of is is an is is an abstract approach to understanding things, right? That could have very well been for them, right? He says, "Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die," right? Now we know that Yahushua is talking about himself, right? Because he got to be put into the grave, he got to go into the ground, right? He got to remain there, right? And then Yahushua go, Yahushua go sit in that Ruach HaKadosh Dunamis explosive power into the Shamaim. I mean, from the Shamaim into the in Shio and 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 strike that boo boo boo. And Yahushua, and you just gonna rise. <laughs> oh, you gonna rise unto everlasting life, the firstborn from the dead. Unto earth, unto everlasting life. Right? So, he says, it abides alone, but if it dies, it brings forth much fruit, right? My death, my resurrection, is going to bring forth much fruit. Right? Right? Pharisees thinks that, Pharisees, what's, what, what, what Kiafah said? Or uh, Caiaphas said, he said, it's expedient that one dies for the nation. Yahushua's death is going to bring forth abundant fruit in the nation. I'm, I'm a byproduct of that fruit. Yahudim, right? Of the seed of Dawid, right? Right? My ancestors were in Spain. They were in Spain, right? Probably since the first exile, right? Because there, there was there was there was the descendants of Dawid that were in Spain, the Yayas, right? And, and my genetic DNA takes me there, right? So, I understand my ancestors. Somebody in my ancestry was in Spain after the first exile. Or even quite possibly after the second exile. At any rate, I end up in Spain. My DNA matches bones that were found in Spain. Oh. Okay. Listen. Yahushua says, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. He was speaking to these Greeks. <laughs> he was speaking to everybody. He was speaking to these Greeks because these Greeks would process this. They would, they would, they would, they would, they would listen to this with this, this, this amazement. 
You know, they, the Greeks were always philosophical. They, 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 they like that. And you know, no doubt, though our people, right, our lineage is, is, was converted into the Greek kind of way of lifestyle. You know, they understood it from a Greek mentality. Now they understood it from a Greek perspective, right? So Yahusha's whole abstract abstract it's not abstract but it is abstract because you know the 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 jews look for a sign right that's why most of the people that, that the jews that that receive yahushua is because of what they saw <laughs> most that's why you should listen that's why you who should say listen if you don't believe me for your word my word believe me for my works at any rate, believe me, right? Believe me for the signs that you see. Because you look for a sign. You say there ain't going to be no sign given with the Son of Man. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, you need to see something. But these Greeks, man, you know, you if you, if you spoke a good game, you had them. You spoke of 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 a, of a philosophical had a philosophical elegance to your presentation. And, you know, you, you got their attention, right? You should, Yahusha says, "Verily, fairly, I say unto you, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone, right? But if it dies." And bringeth forth much fruit, right? So Yahusha is speaking about himself. Then he says, He that loveth his life shall lose it. He that loves his life, right? He who is not willing to sacrifice his desires. He that is not willing to put away the things of this world, right? He that is not willing, or she that is not willing to come out of Babylon, right? That will not deny their flesh, right? He gonna lose his life. Because, see, he's not going to find everlasting life in me. Right? See, because with me, you have to be willing to lose your life. He said, he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. He that haveth, no, he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life which means that listen if you want to hold on to your life you won't you won't you keep it but it ain't gonna get you eternal life but if you're willing to let this life go right then you can have eternal life right because in Hamashiach is life right what you have and what you see is not at all because if that's the case Paul said it like this is if all we have is what we see in this world, in this life now, right? We are most men miserable. What do you mean, Paul? Meaning that if all we have in Hamashiach is what we see and experience in this life, and there's no reward for an eternal life after this, we're miserable. You know? I mean, what if we what if we really gained from this world that would make us want to hold on Hamashiach in this world? You understand what I'm saying? Because if the objective is to deny yourself, right? Deny yourself and there's no hope for eternal life. Well, you deny yourself in this life and you ain't got no eternal hope in the next life. That's miserable. Oh, yeah. Well, you, I sacrificed for Hamashiach in this life, but I don't get eternal life. He said, we have most men miserable if that's the case. But if I lose my life, for his sake, I shall gain eternal life. Therefore, the resurrection of Yahushua is of extreme importance to me. 
because if Christ be risen and we are Abraham's seed according to the promise, I got something waiting for me. <laughs> I am going to be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. That earnest of that Ruach that Yahushua gave me, Yahuwah gave me, is going to be a fullness of a Ruach. It's going to cause me to operate in the supernatural 40, 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, really not even subject to time and space no longer because in eternal life, those things don't factor in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I live for eternity, then what's time? Time is a construct that you who are made for man, right? But if I become a son of a Lua and I have received the fullness of the Ruach HaKadosh when he changes me, what is time? I'm not no longer subject to that construct. Uh, I'm no longer subject to that construct of time. All because I chose him. Yahuwah, I've told you once, I'll tell you again. I believe that Yahushua Hamashiach is the son of Elua. He is the son of Yahushua. I believe that I've received adoption as sons because I received the testimony, the word of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahuwah, I confess with my mouth, Yahushua, and I believe in my heart that you have raised him from the dead. Therefore, I have been saved, and I believe that I have received your Ruach HaKadosh, which is the earnest of my inheritance, the down payment to the time in which you gather and together in one your purchase possession, and at which time I will be changed in a moment, in a second, in a twinkling of an eye, Yahuwah, I give you praise. My confession, Yahuwah, with my mouth, Yahuwah, I declare it to be true. Listen, I believe. <laughs> See, I believe that I am passing from death to life. Oh, I do believe that. Yahushua said, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal. You know, I really do kind of hate, I hate this world. I really do. You know, I mean, unless I'm fellowshipping with, you know, like-minded people, I mean, it's arduous. Working and laboring is arduous. You know, having to listen to people who don't have Good sense is arduous. Having to follow directions from people who don't understand directions is arduous. You know? I look forward to the time when Yahushua is reigning in the nation of Yashua. Sitting on the seat in Jerusalem. I look for the day when I've been changed and I'm with Yahuwah, right? Worshiping Yahuwah, serving him in the kingdom. <sighs> Being at rest and at peace. Eternal life, right? Not just some crazy idea real life, right? Yahushua says, if any man serve me, let him follow me. Yahushua, where you lead, I will follow. You are the good shepherd. I am your sheep. I hear your voice. I'm not listening to anybody else. 
I hear your voice of a man. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall my servant be. Yahuwah, I thank you. Yahusha, I give you praise. For I look to be where you are. Hallelujah. I look to be where you are. Look, I just want to be with Yahusha. I just want to be with Yahuwah. I just want to be with the Mishpokah. I want to be with the Malachim. I want to be with those who love Yahuwah. I do. I do. I want to live in a kingdom where everybody loves Yahushua. Everybody serves Yahuwah. Everybody loves one another. You know, even in the awakening, right? Even in the awakening. Right? We don't operate in unity. We don't really operate in the love of Yahuwah. Right? You know, there's not much difference between us and the denominations. Right? There's not much difference. Right? Because, you know, when we all, when, it, when, 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 when the awakening started, you know, it started and, you know, everybody was about one thing and then everybody started branching off and starting their own thing. And, you know, no universal uh, church of Jerusalem governing what's happening over all the bodies. Everybody doing what they want to do. Oh, yeah, everybody teaching what they want to teach. Everybody saying what they want to say. Everybody whoremongering when they want, just like they do in the church. Not everybody. I don't mean everybody, everybody. Causing division. Doing the same thing. In the awakening. It's the same thing. That's why, you, that's why the awakening needs the Ruach HaKadosh. They don't need to talk about it. They need to have it. I mean, you, 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 you'll get somebody drop a dime on the Ruach HaKadosh every now and then. But you need people who walk in the Ruach, who live by the Ruach, right? Who, 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 who govern by the Ruach, right? You need a central order, right? Someone that's governing the whole assemblies. A united council. Right? Like the apostles had. They made sure that the things were being done throughout all the assemblies. Right? I'm talking about greater awakening. I'm talking about a uh, rebirth. I'm talking about, uh, 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 what's that, revenant? Revelant? I'm talking about every single assembly answering to one. That's the unity of the faith, unity of the believer, accountability, accountability, right? We all want to be accountable of our own assemblies. Uh, I'm accountable to my assembly. I'm accountable to this You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. It's the unity of the brother. It's a struggle. It, it, it's, it's, it's the struggle. It's the unity, right? It's the oneness, right? And it's a oneness that comes as a result of the Ruach HaKadosh. Has nothing to do with how much Hebrew you know or how much Greek you know or has nothing to do with how much uh, 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 you do this and, and I do that and you do this and we do that. We, 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 they, they, them, 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 us, us. If any man serve me, let him follow me. Yehusha Mashiach. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. That's what this is about. That's the big picture. The unity of the brethren. And you can't be unified unless you have the Ruach HaKadosh. 
can't be unified unless you have the Ruach HaKadosh. He says, if any man serve me, let him follow me. Where I am, there he shall be also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Any man serve me, him will my father honor. Right? Now Yahushua continues to go on. He says, now is my soul troubled. Scripture says, be anxious for nothing. But in all things with prayer and with supplication, let your request be made known unto Yahuwah, Aluah, and Yahuwah, and Yahushua Hamashiach will keep your heart and mind in Yahushua Hamashiach. Right? Understand. Yahushua, now is my soul troubled. What does that word troubled mean in the Greek? Right? It's restless, agitated, troubled, right? To cause one inward commotion. Because he knows his hour. He knows he's a seed that has to go into the ground and die. He knows that this is a reality for him. Now, granted, he always knew what his purpose was, but in his flesh, like anything, when you draw closer to that time, there's anxiety. And Yahushua was a man who wept, who was moved by the feelings of our infirmities. So he experienced anxiety. He was troubled. He was troubled. He was anxious. He knew what was going to happen. He said, now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say, Father, save me from this hour? But for this cause came I into the world and come to this hour. He said, listen, my soul is troubled, but what am I going to tell the Father? Save me? From this hour when this is why I have come? To redeem my brethren? And if I have to die in order that they might live? Then let it be so. Right? Father, glorify thy name. Then there came a voice from the heavens saying, I have both glorified and I will glorify again. Yahuwah has glorified his name once before. This is my beloved son in whom I well please hear ye him. Right? He glorified his, his name at, 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 um, at the uh, baptism of 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 Yahushua and the receiving of the Ruach HaKadosh. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Right? Right, I'm pleased with my son. He has Ruach HaKadosh. He's followed my commandments, my Torah. He's fulfilled the scriptures. Right? He's glorifying me. Right? And now he's in that hour, right? Where he's going to die. For the sins of Yisrael and Yahuda, and for those who are of the Gentiles that receive this witness, our people knew this. The people, therefore, that stood by heard it. Did you hear what he said? Wow. Yahuwah spoke from the Shamayim 
either Yahuwah or an angel, something. It was like thunder. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard said that it was thunder. Others said an angel spoke, spake to him. Yahushua answered and said, this is the voice. This voice came not because of me, but for your sake. You should say, my father spoke for you, for your benefit. Because I know what my purpose is. My son is about to be glorified. He's about to bring me glory. The ultimate glory. The sacrifice of his self for his brethren. He who knew no sin is going to become sin. That you might be made righteous. You who believe, you who hear his voice, you who are his sheep, you who receive the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh, you, you. Now is the judgment of this world. Why? Because the Torah of truth has gone forth with grace, right? Mercy, right? And to those who receive it will enter in by the door, right? He who seeks finds, him who knocks, the door shall be opened unto him, right? When you ask, shall be given, right? When you seek Yahushua first, Yeshua, right? You will get it. And you who don't, Seek them. You knock, don't knock. You who the door is not open unto. Judgment. Yep. Judgment. There's nothing left. There's nothing left but judgment. Because you denied the righteous seed. That was planted into the ground. That must die. And must be born, raised. Grow again. He said, now is judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Who's the prince of the world? Hasatan. He's cast out. For lo, I heard a long voice in heaven saying, Now salvation and power and the kingdom of our Lua has come and the authority of his Hamashiach and the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down who accused them before our Alua day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony loved that their lives unto death, right? Yahushua is going to cause Hasatan to be thrown down not to enter up again. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. <laughs> Had Hasatan understood that it was Yahushua, he would have probably tried to let him live forever. <laughs> uh, he thought he had. He didn't understand the plan. He didn't understand the plan. You don't understand the plan. He don't never understand the plan. He thinks he understands it. We don't understand it. He said, Yahushua answered and said, this voice. No, 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 no. Let me get back down to where I was. He says, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of the world be cast out. Right? And I, if I be lifted up. From the earth, I will draw all men unto me. See, now, you cast down from the Shamaim, Hasatan, Prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. You've been cast down to the earth. Yeah. But if I be lifted up, 
and still going to draw all men unto me. I'm going to draw those who the Father has chosen. And they're going to come to me in spite of you being in the earth. In spite of you being the prince of the power of the air in the earth. You've been cast out. But if I be lifted up, Yahushua says, I'll draw all men unto me. Right? This he said, signifying the death that he should die. So you're talking about being stretched out on a tree. Right? Because him dying led to his victory over Hasatan. And him taking the authority from Hasatan. Right? Now, verse 34. The people answered him, We have heard out of the Torah that Hamashiach abides forever. So how sayest thou... The son of man must be lifted up. Who is this son of man? Right? Oh, we've read that Hasatan lives forever. I mean, not Hasatan. Hamashiach lives forever. He'll never die. And how is it if he never dies, you're saying that he's going to be lifted up. He's going to be put to death. Right? Yahushua said unto them, yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light. Let's darkness come upon you. Listen, you have the light now. Walk like you have the light. Abide in me. Let my word abide in you. Continue in me. Let my word continue in you. Remain in me. Let my word remain in you. Right? Then Yahushua said unto them, in a little while is the light with you. Right? Walk while ye have the light. Right? You should say, at one point he said, he's the light of the world. Right? He's the light of the world. He said, walk while you have the light. Right? Because there's going to come a time when it's going to be dark. It grows dark. You're going to suffer some things. The people answered said unto him, We heard out of the Torah that Hamashiach abides forever. And how say ye that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Is this Son of Man Hamashiach? Yehusha said, yes. Yehusha said unto them, yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come on you. For he that walketh in the darkness knoweth not where he goes. Listen. Listen to me. You have the light. Kadar! Get her. Walk while it is light. Walk while you have the light. It's my dog. Safila. <laughs> Brazilian Mastiff. beast he says and Yahushua said unto him yet a little while yet a little while is the light with you walk while ye have the light lest darkness come on you and he that walketh in the darkness knoweth not whither he goeth he says this while ye have light believe on the light while you have me believe on me see Yahushua's message is still the same believe on me Believe on me. Believe on me. That ye may be the children of the light. Believe on me that you may be my children. Children of the light. Right? These things spake Yahushua and departed 
and did hit himself from them. So Yahusha spoke these words and then he he popped smoke. <laughs> he left. He dropped the mic. <laughs> Boop. I'm done. Right? Right? But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed none of him. I'm convinced that there's just some people just ain't going to get it because they're blind. They've been blinded. Swing toward this. Right? It's blind. He said, but though he had done so many miracles, listen, he raised Lazarus from the dead, four days in the grave. Body should have been stinking. Lazarus is with them at this time during this day. Though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. And he is still in his hour. Right? That the saying of Elias the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake. Adonai, who have believed our report, and to whom is the arm of Adonai been revealed? Yahu, I give you praise that the arm of Yahusha has been revealed to me. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise that I know and I have. I have seen. I am a child of the light. Yahusha, I have never seen you perform one miracle, but I believe your besorah of truth. And because I do, you said I am in a greater position. I release my emu nigh in you and declare you to be the son of Alua. I believe this report. He's been revealed to me. Right. Therefore, he said they could not believe because that Elias says he hath blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. That they should not see in their eyes nor understand with their hearts and be converted. They ain't going to get converted. It ain't going to happen. He ain't going to heal them. It's not going to happen. Cause you got to believe his report. You got to believe the Bazaar of Truth. You got to believe the Bazaar of Truth, the Torah. That's the report. You got to believe it. You can't be healed unless you believe the report. You can't believe healing is yours unless you believe the report. Whose report you gonna believe? We should believe the report of you. I believe you whose part. I believe I believe you should report. I believe he is the light of the world. I believe he is the light. Shined in darkness. Darkness incomprehended because you know why? Their eyes were blinded, their hearts was blinded. They couldn't see, they couldn't understand, lest they should be converted. Right? These things said Elias when he had saw his glory and spake of himself. Saw his glory and spake of him. You, he seen it. Yahusha on the Mount of, in the Mount of Transfiguration. There appeared before him Elias and Moses. Right. And Peter, James, and John were present. Yuhukana, the word made flesh. Cephas, Cephas, the head of the church, the assembly. Right? And James, right? Also, the brother of, uh, I think it was John, Peter, James, and the two brothers. Anywho, 
they were there when Elias was there. Right? Elias saw these things said Elias when he saw his glory. Whose glory? The only glory of, of Alua. And not just Alua's glory. He saw Yahushua's glory. He appeared with the same glory. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers, also many believed on him. You got you got chief rulers believing on him. Right? You got the chief rulers believing on him. The rulers, the commanders, the chiefs, the leaders, right? Leaders believed on him. Right? But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess. Lest they should be put out the synagogue. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of Yahuwah been revealed? Unless you're prepared. Right? Yahushua said it earlier. He says. He says earlier. Or he said, um, uh, before the, he said in verse 25, he that loveth his life shall lose it. They believed on him. But they loved their life. Yahushua says, He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. Right? Right? But here we have Here we have, nevertheless among the chief rulers also, many believed on him because, but because of the Pharisees, did not confess him lest they should be put out of the synagogue. They loved their lives. Listen, for they loved the praises of men more than the praise of Alua. They believed on him. They believed that he was Hamashiach, but they loved the praise of men more. They loved their seats. They loved their positions. They were willing to put him to death, even though they believed on him. Yahushua cried and said, Yahushua cried, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but he that sent me. He cried there. Right? He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. Yahushua knew that they believed, but they valued the praise of men more. And Yahushua was just letting them know, if you believed on me, you believed on him that sent me. And if you believed on me, but rejected me, you believed on him and rejected him. Woo! And he that seeth me, Seeth him that sent me. He says, I am come a light into the world, and whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. He, look, he just fixing Yahushua's going in. He's going in with the clarity. He's going in. 
He's explained to what the light is. Excuse me. He that believeth on him is light. He shall not abide in darkness. Right? He says, If any man hears my words and believes not, I am judged. He says, Believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Right? He that reject me and receiveth not my words, hath not, hath one that judged him. Right? He said, he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, hath one that judge him. The words that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last days. Your rejection of the basura of truth is your judgment. And because of your failure to keep his word in the judgment, you're going to remember it. Actually, you're going to remember every word that was given to you. You're going to remember this one. <laughs> You're going to remember this word. If you heard this word and you reject it, and you reject Hamashiach, you're going to remember this word. Oh, yeah. He going he gonna to flash my face and the words that I said. He going he to... He says, for I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me commandment that I should say and what I should speak. Yahuwah gave Yahusha Torah. Yahusha speaks Torah. Yahusha said it. Yahusha says, for I have not spoken of myself. I, 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 but the Father which sent me, he gave me commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. I'm the Torah made flesh. I'm led by the Ruach HaKadosh. I know that his commandments is life everlasting. I know the word is life. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Where the entrance of thy word gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. How can a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed to your word? Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy Torah is truth. He says, for I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me commandment what I should say and what I should speak. Yahuwah gave Yahushua commandments. What he should say and speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. I know Yahuwah's Torah is life everlasting. He shows mercies unto thousands of them that keep his commandments. He says, if you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord, you, you, if you hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Lua, right, and observe to do all that he commands thee this day, that Yahuwah thy Lua shall set you a Lua, shall set you an eye above all the nations of the earth, and you will be the blessed. Yahushua has promised eternal life. Yahushua has said the Father is going to give you the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the spirit of a Yahuwah and a Lua. Yahushua and a Lua, his Father, right? In you. You are going to be L's, right? It's going to be the down payment, the earnest of your inheritance, right? Your everlasting life, because your inheritance is everlasting life. Your er, your your inheritance is everlasting life. Everlasting life is your inheritance. They are interchangeable. Whosoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. 
He says, and I know that his commandment is life everlasting for whatsoever I speak, therefore, whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the father said unto me, so I speak. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, I teach what Yahuwah gives me to teach. I share what Yahuwah gives me to share. I speak what Yahuwah gives me to speak. I trust in the basura of truth. I believe Yahushua's witness. I am a light in the world. And I'm not hiding my light under no bushel. No. I don't care who loves me. I don't care who hates me. All I care is, all I care about is doing those things that please Yahuwah. And if I'm doing the things that please Yahuwah, you can count on me to do what I need to do for you. But I don't look for you to do what you need to do for me because I trust in Yahuwah to give me and to do everything I need him to do for me. All right. I believe on him. Yahushua Hamashiach. I believe that he's a Torah made flesh. Yeah, I give you praise in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach for the words that Yahushua has spoken that has given me life. I pray that the words that I have spoken to them uh, that would be Ru'ako would minister to them that they would receive the truth of thy Besorah. Yahuwah, I pray right now that those who need the Ru'ak HaKadosh would receive it by faith upon their confession of faith in you and in your Besorah or truth and then on, on profession of their faith having received the redemption of the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach for the forgiveness of their sins I pray that they would walk in this Ruach walk in this power walk in this anointing in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach Father I thank you for the words that you've given me sanctify me continually Keep me ever before you in your Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, don't let me waver to the right or to the left. Help me to stay on track in you. I thank you for doing this in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness, woman of Yah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Listen, Yahuwah has favored you. Walk in that favor. Keep his commandments, obey his basura, and live. With that I say, shalom, shalom, shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.